we just had a very momentous vote in the Senate in Washington last week, and they voted to give lots of your money if you're an American citizen and you're watching this or you're in the U.S. and paying taxes, a lot of your money to the Beltway bandits, to the intelligence, so-called intelligence community, which is neither communal nor intelligent to the national security state and to defense contractors to build more McMansions in suburban Northern Virginia and bring more uh, gentrifiers into Washington to live in these loft style drone boxes that are popping up everywhere around the city. It's $40 billion to Ukraine, but it's not going, much of it won't go to Ukraine. It goes straight back here and is military Keynesianism fueling the kind of economy that has cropped up since 9-11, a permanent war economy. The defense budget is over $800 billion a year. Biden has proposed a record defense budget. And the Ukraine proxy war has replaced Afghanistan as the justification to meet all of the bureaucratic priorities of the national security state. It is a disgusting and scandalous aid package framed by mainstream media as a simple measure to quote unquote help ukrainians it will not help any ukrainian unless those ukrainians all want to die in a lost cause fighting to maintain a nationalist and oligarchic post-maidan regime in kiev with missiles advanced missile systems pointing at moscow it is a aid package that ensures the U.S. goal or advances the U.S. goal of fighting to the last Ukrainian, but seems to do nothing for U.S. national security. And we would expect some resistance to this bill, wouldn't we? We would expect resistance from the kind of people who say that they oppose corruption, that they oppose bloated defense budgets that they oppose inequality. And yet the, the, the opposition came from the America First crowd. It came from figures like Marjorie Taylor Greene and Matt Gates, who outflanked from the anti-war left, the squad, the progressive squad, self-proclaimed socialists like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Ilhan Omar and Jamal Bowman, who has proclaimed that he's against colonialism and white supremacy sending weapons into the arms of the neo-Nazi Azov Battalion, into the arms of the neo-Nazi Idar Battalion, and other blood-stained paramilitary war criminals like the Georgian Legion, which has been filmed executing wounded Russian soldiers in the field. The squad voted for all of this, and they will not explain their votes to the public. And in the most upsetting instance, of capitulation before the war state. Bernie Sanders, Senator Bernie Sanders, self-proclaimed socialist, voted for the $40 billion.